Welcome to day two with your blocks. We're going to drive straight in and start in the tabletop position. Now, if you struggle with any kind of wrist pain or you have like carpal tunnel, you can probably find it's quite difficult to be on your hands and knees like this. So a really good thing you can do is use your blocks in this position. You might want to play around with which height that you have them on and where on the block that you actually hold them. I do get a lot of wrist pain when I've been working quite a lot. I lift a lot of heavy things and it can take its toll. So for me, just having my hands around the block feels good, as opposed to having my all my weight bearing into the wrist. So just take some of the pressure out. So have a little play with that and see how you like it. Some people like to have their hands at the bottom here so that their wrists are quite free. I personally like to just hold on in the middle. So that's your tabletop. If you tuck the toes under, keep in hold of your blocks, lift the hips up high and back. So this is your downward facing dog. And already I can feel there's no tension in my wrist whatsoever. I'm using my fingertips. That actually feels really good. And then if you rock your weight forward, you can come into your plank pose. Same thing. That feels okay. Of course, with knees lowered or lifted. And then another thing that you can do is it can really help with that transition between downward facing dog when you come into a lunge. So I'll just quickly show you what I mean. So it's on downward facing dog, stepping forward. So a lot of people struggle to get that foot forward. And you know, instead of using your hands, you can use your blocks to help you with that. So coming up into downward facing dog, because you've got this extra height. So you can step forwards with much more ease. And just have a little play, stepping back and forwards with each leg. Just gives us that extra height and that space to play with. And once you get used to doing that a few times, see if you can bring your knee in a little higher. And the more you keep practicing this, the more your body's going to get used to that action of squeezing that knee into the chest before taking it forwards. So hopefully that's going to really help you with that transition from downward facing dog into a runner's lunge. Thanks for watching.